Hello everyone, this is Adrian here. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, like the page, put your comments down below. How not to be upset. <laughs> you know, when you get upset, that's a tremendous, um, well, let's, let's put it this way. When you get upset, that's information, a lot of information about the, the, the reason why you're upset. How not to get upset is not to put your hopes too high on people. You usually get upset with people, we get upset with business, we get upset with different circumstances. We, we get upset. I have every reason to get upset because I had everything going for me before this COVID-19. I had everything going for me. Man, I could see my future and live in it and oh wow. Uh, but you know, I decided not to get upset because getting upset ain't going to change anything. It'll change you. It, getting upset changes nothing but you. And, and it's not good. It's not good. Instead of getting upset, learn from the situation. Learn. Learn, learn. Learn what to do that this never happens again. And you know, you know the sad part about crisis? They don't, it doesn't, re it, yes, history does repeat itself, but the crisis pattern of our lives is different. Now, some people go through the same thing over and over again because they didn't learn their lesson in the first place. But if you've learned lesson number one, then you're going to learn lesson number two, then lesson number three, then how do I know what lesson number four is? Thing is, I saw a sign in the city once, uh, don't worry about your future because you know who holds the future, and that's God. He, he, he holds the future for you. So don't get upset. God can turn any bad situation into a good situation. God can turn any, any, anything that upsets you, anyone that upsets you. Um, God's got someone else. Life goes on and the best people are in your future. Your best days are not behind you. Your best days are ahead of you. Stop getting upset and just rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. That's what the Bible says. Stay in the joy of the Lord because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Amen. Amen.